Uh, this is a test setup for uh, my laser. I bought this laser to uh, test out my program called uh, CAD to lay uh, laser. It uses the uh, Z axis to turn the TTL on and off for the laser. I use the uh, relay for the MIST M7 an M9, I mean M8, M8 I use, an M9, and M7 is, I'm going to add an air assist, so I'll be using that for the air assist. So to start, I have to put my safety glasses on. This is a must. I'm going to start the laser now. <laughs> She's moving to position and she's going to start cutting. Now I don't know what's going to happen here. I may have to stop it if it burns a hole through the box. What this is, it's a skull and crossbones uh, thing I got off the internet. And I converted it to polyline for my program. I've got it set at 10 inches a minute because the uh, if, if you want to cut through a piece then you cut slow. I'm just engraving. Picture, think of this as a, a wooden box that you're engraving something on. doing the sods now. You can see as it moves to the new position the laser is off. That's due to the z-axis being negative. Cutting the handle of the sword. You can hear the step is working with all that noise.
What I'm trying to prove here is that the laser does, in fact, turn off and on with the Z-axis. If I slowed the feed rate down, it would cut deeper. Well, it cut something. It's doing the outline. If this was a piece of wood, I, I'd be cutting that out if it was deeper. The box is just sitting on the table, no weight at all. It's an uneven surface. So I don't know what really is going to happen here. This is my first test setup. The laser seems to be working fine. I bought it from a guy in Turkey called uh, Ka uh, LA CNC. Almost done. It's done. Let's see what it looks like.
looks pretty good.